Scott, that's right. It's an incredible video we'll show you in just a second. Right now, we are driving along I-35 North from Olathe to Overland Park. You can see the roads are wet, our wipers are going, but if you take it easy, things aren't too slick right now. Earlier, we were at Lake Olathe along Lakeshore Drive where water over the roadway is so bad, police had to block it off because there's basically a river running right through the road. That's enough to take a full-size truck out. Lakeshore Drive is an unusual place to see waves this big. But at the northwest corner of Lake Olathe, the water has nowhere to go but over the road and down Cedar Creek. Thousands of gallons have overfilled the lake. The spill-off point can't hold the water back. People can't help but come and see. We saw about five cars in less than half an hour. This is probably the highest I've ever seen this lake after all the storms. Sebastian Weaver says he's never seen it like this, with the water rushing over the release point. What once was a wall is a waterfall. Back in September, we had that monsoon. It was a little less than this, but still pretty bad. A car actually got stuck on there once. That is why today, police are not letting cars through this road. The water pins dead leaves up against this traffic sign. It's a little warm for December. While many don't mind the rain, some people thought by now it would be snowing. I want it to snow because they might cancel school. It's good for free car washes. <laughs> we Everyone likes a free car wash, right? Who doesn't like a good free car wash? And all this rain is definitely providing a lot of water to wash off those cars. You can see our windshield wipers continue now as the rain continues to fall. Still, it will be a while till Lakeshore Drive can be reopened and all of that excess water flowing from Lake Olathe uh, stops. Reporting live along I-35, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Okay.